So here's our dumpster. We've got our zip system in place with our roofing. We've got our zip tape on it. It's nice and sealed. If it rains now, we should be watertight on that for the most part. If you've ever seen more at the build show when they're spraying the house down with the fire hose and seeing how well that did, I won't give it away how well it held up, but we should be pretty dry at this point with our ceiling here. We also had them nail this every six inches. They did a little, a little bit of learning on this, on their panel placement and ensuring that they staggered the seams and all that stuff and nail placement. So you're gonna see a lot of uh, things that our students had to correct when they're doing it, but lots of learning took place. They have a two foot overhang over here. Our wall could set back, right? Where we're gonna have our entry door and our window, um, but we're actually gonna have, basically that wall is gonna come right here. That's what they're gonna start on tomorrow. So when you open up that door, that wall is right front and center. Big thing when this is shipping, this whole thing is going, it's a big U, so it's gonna wanna rack around. So we are actually gonna have some angle iron here in place on both sides of this door. So when we ship it, we're gonna bolt it and bolt it so that this is one solid tub and as strong as that front tub. So there's no moving and no racking. Ideally, we want this gate to fold down like a tailgate on a truck. If we have the time to fabricate it, we will, but I don't think we're gonna have the time between now and January to do it. We're, we're in May at this point. On the inside, this is what we're looking at. We're gonna have Skylight, 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 or maybe three, depending on budget. Uh, but they are unfortunately going to be a fixed skylight because a regular skylight, we're having troubles finding too many that are going to open, that are going to fit in this short distance here. This is a 60-12 pitch for these verticals here, and we have a 3-12 pitch for this upper part. It's a gambrel roof. However, it looks like a manzer. Typically, a manzer would have a, a dormer on the outside with the windows at a 90, but this is around... I believe it's a 78 degree angle. So we are talking about having some sheer wall strapping on the inside, but what's really gonna make this strong is that we're gonna put half inch plywood this whole side over and nail it closely on the outside sheeting. We did six inch every six inches to make it really, really strong. So we're gonna do the same on the inside, no drywall. So that will keep this from being uh, racking around. That's why we have the, the ridge beam going down the middle to try to bring in a little extra support. All of these are these gussets are all liquid nailed and nailed in place. Um, obviously, it'd be better if this came straight across here so you had that triangulation. But you know what? We're really short on space because we're going to be adding two inches of this InsoFast to uh, provide moisture control, little R value, and our subfloor with that. So we're really going to be we're, you know, trying to maintain as much height as possible. So having that sheeted on both sides should really bring some stability and some strength to that for our, our forces. Um, we are gonna have some uh, metal roofing on the outside. We have a commercial roofer as our industry partner that's gonna help us uh, roof that. We're gonna have curb mounted skylights for that application. So we have another foot of this overhang in the front here, which the cab of the truck should be anywhere in this region. They can be under and over depending on the size of the truck. And then we should have plenty of room of clearance with, with this overhang in the front, if not a whole lot more. Um, but this will be likely a window. Our AC unit, right? We'll have a mini split set up and then we'll have either all the utilities on this back wall or we will be cutting this steel, folding it down for our shower, toilet, sink combo, and then having a utility off to the side. So we have lots of utilities for everything that's gonna have to fit in there, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so you can see we, we've got our height to go down the road. We've got plenty of height on the inside. It meets the tiny home, home code. I'm not sure anything else in this build will meet that, but we are just kind of doing a proof of concept right now to show that, hey, you can build a house in a dumpster. This is what we got from InsoFast. This is gonna go across the whole floor. We have a retired union insulator that works with us uh, here at our school. And so we're talking to him about different ways of how we're gonna insulate this upper part. Obviously, hey, spray foam would be great, but you know, we're working on things that's a budget and stuff that students can do. So these are gonna actually lay down on the whole floor. These have built-in furring strips that we're gonna be able to attach our subfloor to. Per the company in so fast, this is the exact glue that they use on the back of these. And then we're gonna have them anywhere there's metal, there's gonna be this, right? Except for this door is not gonna get it because that's on the outside of an insulated wall. But anywhere where there's metal, that will be adhered to it. Anywhere they join up, per in so fast is gonna be this gaps and cracks. This great stuff, expandable foam that's gonna go in any of the cracks that we can't get this stuff joined up nice and tight. It has some nice connectors here. It should be kind of like Lego. It should be a fun day. We'll get this done. 
Um, but before we go destroying a bunch of this, we may end up doing the ceiling first. We'll see uh, the order of the sequence of construction on, on how we're going to let that play out. Another thing with this great foam, I've got a huge box. There's great stuff foam. Is we have all these long chases here that have a weep hole at the bottom. Right? This isn't sitting outside. We're not too worried about. It. We may drill a hole here. I doubt that we're going to be able to shoot it all the way up. So we'll probably drill a hole here and fill this. Right, so fill all of those columns, so to speak, or chases, whatever you want to call them, with expanding foam to seal those up. And then ideally, to keep this metal, right, be nice to put a, a polystyrene foam in here or an EFIS system. We got plenty of room. We got two inches of room in here. We could put uh, a total EFIS system in here and maintain the integrity of that look of the dumpster, but uh, give it some protection and our value, things of that nature. Uh, to keep that bare metal. So then at that point, the only thing that's bare metal is this, this strip here. But we do have some weird things. You see how that angle is out? So uh, it would be fine. We can make it work. I think uh, that integrity will be kept. It looks like our students are already kind of envisioning <laughs> what this wonderful place will look like. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of a, a rundown of everything where we're at with this build. Next time you see this, we'll have our wall in place over here. Perhaps we'll have some of the decking going on on the inside here. Like I said, drywall we're remaining, refra refraining from. We did talk about a steel support going across here. We're gonna avoid doing that. Instead, this is our big steel support. And basically we're gonna put some heavy angle iron likely here and that we'll have some bolts so that we will, during shipment, bolt that side. We're gonna weld on the back side over here as well. We have plenty of clearance to weld on both these spots. The door will clear it. It's got a huge two inch clearance, two bolts there. And so that will be one solid structure. The roof will hopefully be one solid structure. And during shipment, we're hoping we don't have any glass breakage or any other things crack or tear up on us. So that's what we're looking at. That's where we are. Like I said, please comment below on anything you think is going wonky because I've never built a home in a dumpster. Uh, there hasn't really been too many people that have. So that's what it is. That's what it looks like. Please comment on anything else you want to hear about. Questions, maybe I can answer any videos you'd like to see on that so we can kind of keep this ball rolling on our little structure here and if you're wondering there's a sit panel going up behind it here and we had a couple little there's a what's under this tarp over here it's not a anything super fancy it is just a roofing trainer that we built for a solar company that's going to use a trainer they're going to there's two of them they merge together our students did that that's another one hiding under there this is not actually going to remain here on campus that's going over it's going to have a whole bunch of uh railing on it so that's what you're seeing here in the background this will be out of here shortly and then we are building a front section on this uh, sit panel house here out of wood and a whole wall so that's getting designed and worked on once these are out of here that is the ephus that i might have been talking about for these front panels over here that's the whole front of this building here one of our contractors is the largest specialty contractor in the state of florida and they do EFIS. So this whole front section of this building here is actually foam with stucco on it. So if you're not familiar with the EFIS system, it's fiber mesh reinforced. So you can come up on this, a lot of your targets are like this, and you can see I can press in on it and it's actually movable. So it provides an R value. It's actually very, if, if two by fours are flying in a hurricane, it's actually very resilient, very strong, right? Foam is a, a great impact resistant uh, material. And that is all foam going around these windows and doors um, and things of that nature. So that was what I was kind of talking about for that over there. So anyways, we'll catch you next time on the next dumpster update here on the channel. Whatever, I might change the name of the channel between here and the next time you see this video. I don't know. I like to change names of things. So have a good one.